gave a report on the Operation Show Your Building Plan, which we started on the 11th of March 2022 at Amakba. We can gladly report today that we have finished the exercise in Amakba. And in that time, 5,316 properties were visited door to door, street by street. We've taken the data and out of it, a lot of people have been visiting our offices, asking questions and also trying to regularize their building approvals. Now, going forward, we want to first of all thank the Amaba community for their cooperation throughout the exercise with our people as they went from street to street and from door to door. And we are also enjoining other citizens of Benin City and its environs to give the same uh, cooperation to our uh, staff as they commence on the other areas. The next area we'll be going to from next week will be Ohege. So we are also using this opportunity to inform those that are in Ohege that will be coming to us then. If you already have a building approval, please make a copy and stick it by your gate. So when our people come there, they are able to see it and there will be no need to mark your properties. Now, over 278 people have already paid uh, uh, the penalty uh, free fee and uh, submitted the applications. We intend to do a fast track system where at the end of this week, by early next week, all of those approvals will be granted, except those who are on government acquisition modes, right of way, and any of such a contravention. Going forward as well, we would commence a communication program where we would have uh, road shows, uh, billboards, flyers, and stakeholders meeting to better educate our people. Well, the council was uh, gracious to approve an extension of the penalty-free period. The penalty-free period we had before uh, expired on the 31st of March, but ESCO has approved for it to be extended to the 30th of April. So that means that those who were not able to benefit from that penalty-free period can now bring in the applications and they will also be fast-tracked. Uh, going forward as well, we would uh, continue to sensitize our people on the need to stop building without approval. It is mandatory that you come and get information on what is required for you to build so that you do not fall foul of the law. We are happy at the moment that uh, ESCO has approved a pen penalty-free period, but this will not continue forever. So it is necessary for you to take uh, advantage of this window that has been opened and do your approvals. We do not intend to delay anyone, and we intend to make this process as stress-free as possible for all our residents. Secondly, upon receiving your approval, you will receive a conveyance letter. This conveyance letter is, is a secure document. So those who are in Amagba who have already applied and every other person who has applied who gets the conveyance letter will also enjoy you to make a laminated copy and stick on your gate so that when our people go around to do spot checks, they would see that you have approval and they would not be marking your building or uh, uh, speaking to you more than just taking acknowledgement of the fact that you have been approved. And it is our expectation that at the end of this exercise, most of Benin City, if not all of it, would be uh, covered with people who already have secured the approval. Thank you very much. We talked extensively about the ongoing upgrade of primary health care facilities in the state. We are committed to ensuring this upgrade because properly run, primary health care facilities will become the gateway and bedrock of quality health care for Edo citizens. Our vision is a state across 18 local government areas where our people can access timely, person-centered healthcare that is equitable and affordable, as close to where they live and work as possible. Yes, we know all the historical negative narratives about primary healthcare, but we are committed 
and we will make it work by the grace of God. As you are aware, we had mentioned that this month our partners from the United States and other countries in the Americas will be coming to Edo State on a medical mission. The Association of Nigerian Physicians in the Americas will be working with physicians, surgeons, and other healthcare specialists in the state to provide free healthcare for about 10 days beginning from the 22nd of April. We are happy to inf inform Edo citizens that as part of this endeavor, we will be launching a telemedicine service that will continue beyond the duration of the mission. What this means is that going forward, we will be able to have the expertise of our colleagues abroad come to bear on the care that we will be providing for our people. We will be starting with the primary health care facility along Sapler Road. Screening is ongoing for this medical mission and we encourage everyone to be part of it. The World Health Day is on the 7th of April, which is tomorrow. The theme that the World Health Organization has chosen is very apt to our circumstances as a state and as a nation, and it is our planet, our health. In domesticating this theme for Edo State, we are saying that we must improve our environment and take ownership to improve our health through a better environment. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we will be working with the citizens of the state to walk the talk as we identify some of the most unpleasant environments in the city and clean out. This will happen simultaneously across the 18 local government areas in the state. In line with that, we would like to remind us that the Lassa fever outbreak is ongoing. 11 LGAs have been affected and leading among these are Esako West and Asan West, which account for about 64% of the cases and 52% of the deaths. As at the last count by 9 p.m. yesterday, we had confirmed 176 cases of Lassa fever. Lassa fever is an embarrassment to us as a state and it is something that we are committed to eradicating. Again, it ties in very well with the world theme for the World Health Day tomorrow. If we eradicate rats, the particular breed of rats that cause Lassa fever, then we will say bye-bye to Lassa fever forever. So we will let eradicate rats. We will stop the activities that promote the multiplication of rats, such as bush burning, which drives, drives the rat, it rats into our homes, and death, and all of the other things that we do that encourage the vector to cause the disease. There's nothing that we can do in health without the cooperation of our citizens. And our job is to work with every person to promote health, which means taking ownership, taking responsibility for our health and our health outcomes.